Hello and welcome to Plus Tube number four. And Merry Christmas! Today it is the 25th of December 2019. <laughs> oh my god. It feels like it's been ages since I talked with you guys, since I made a floss to video, since I made a whip and shed, and yeah, but I do think it's been a while actually. Because last week I um, posted a stitch along video instead of a floss tube and instead of a whip and shed. And I do think uh, I have a couple of unboxings planned. Um, so, but I still have quite a few videos recorded. So the unboxings will keep on coming for a while but they will end uh, in, yeah, in a few months, um, in a few months. Because I'm not pr purchasing any diamond painting kits, uh, maybe one or few, one or two, just a few, whatever. I th it feels like I'm just talking crap, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I don't know. I feel so happy today. I have no clue why. Um, yeah, it's the 25th. Um, I've been working since like a quarter to seven this morning until like 4.30 in the evening. It's been busy, busy, busy at work um, because Yesterday it was the 24th and in Sweden, uh, well, it's Christmas Eve all over the world, of course, but we celebrate Christmas on the 24th in Sweden. And at work, all the secretaries, as I've told you all, uh, I am a secretary at the hospital and uh, we have the day off. Everyone has a day off on the 24th, so no one is like like for today on the 25th it's a holiday but you know we have a few secretaries working so no one was working yesterday so there's you know these um the doctors they record what they want to us to to write into the patient journals and so there's dictations i think it's called i'm not sure from like the afternoon, evening, night on the 23rd, all of the 24th, which I needed to type, you know, or write today. And then around noon, like 12 o'clock, the doctors start make, making new dictations, you know, dictating or recording, whatever you call it, for today's events or what has happened or what they've done with the patients so it's been busy but yeah i love working these kinds of days when it's busy you know you have a purpose and you give the doctors you know that service you know you're available on phone they can call you when it comes to those administrative admis uh, i swear it's just cough in this i swear it's there's nothing else in it so, <clears throat> yesterday we had some family over, uh, we made some dinner, we didn't make this traditional Christmas food, so we made some fish soup and some Italian chicken with pasta, yeah, it was really nice. Then we had some apple pie with vanilla sauce for dessert, so it was very nice. And I actually got a Christmas present. I have received a present from my husband a week ago. He bought some tickets to go see James Blunt, my absolute favorite singer. So it's me, my husband and my daughter who's going in May when James Blunt comes to Sweden. Yay! But I got another present 
it is not the cross stitch related. I have talked for like five minutes and I haven't mentioned cross stitching yet, but I happen to love llama animals or alpaca animals. And everyone knows this. <laughs> my sister, my older sister, she surprised me with this funny little singer. So if you don't like to listen to llamas singing, then jump a minute ahead. Isn't it cute? I love it. <laughs> and <laughs> my dog, Billy, he's like, <laughs> oh, he's ready to kill. <laughs> he loves it too. Yeah, but it's mine. Anyway, so he's, he's sitting here right now watching <laughs> the llama one of you. He's like, give it to me. I want to play with it. <laughs> okay, so that was Christmas. Oh my God. Yeah. Um, Let's uh, drop all the personal stuff and let's get to cross stitching. I wanted to tell you more, but I will tell you that in a stitch along later this week. I haven't purchased, pur purchased, I haven't bought so many things this time. Um, yeah, Christmas, spending money on gifts and whatever. And, you know, I can't just keep buying to show you guys, but when I do, I will show you so and I will show you some of my progress too uh, what do I start with uh, do, do, do I showed you no I promised actually to show you this uh, it's a laying tool which I bought on Etsy and you put the ring around your hand so you have it you know in your hand like all the time so you don't drop it or anything. I, this is very nice. Um, I've tried it on one of my projects where I just have a small, an eight by eight inch uh, Q-snap. So it's, and it's, uh, the Q-snap is held with the Lowry stand, which is like a big clamp. Mm. I don't know. I think I need a bigger project to use this, but it's a nice tool. <laughs> a little bit too expensive, but yeah, it's nice to have. Um, I bought, yeah, <clears throat> I showed you my Miss Christmas e Eve Mirabilia design and I bought the kit, but without the fabric. So, The story is that I ordered, was it my husband? It might be my husband and daughter coming home. They're all out to the movies watching the new Frost movie. Is it called Frost? The one with Anna and Elsa? Yeah. They showed it for the first time in the movies uh, today. So they're there, but they might be coming or calling on the phone. Yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, I showed you guys the, the Christmas Eve, Miss Christmas Eve Mirabilia. And I ordered the kit from Hawkins Hobbies, but without the fabric because I wanted a hand dye fabric, even weave 28 count. So I went to Crafty Kitten and they had a real long turn time for the, yeah, the fabric. So I went to Etsy and found some really nice fabric and I was kind of annoyed last time 
my last uh, floss tube because I didn't receive the fabric and I mailed the seller and sent messages and I didn't get any respond. However, I managed to get in contact with the seller. Yeah, now my husband is calling, so I'll be right back. Yeah, so I knew he was gonna call because he's gonna get some burger, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's finish this because that means they're on their way, way home. I got in contact with the seller and she said she had never received any mail from me and all this, so I don't know what happened, but she um, sent me a new fabric right away. No questions asked, no cost, anything. A couple of days later, I did receive the fabric. I don't know why. I guess it was stuck in that stupid custom again. I don't know. But I told her uh, and she still wanted to give me um, the free fabric uh, because, yeah, she didn't want to get any bad, you know, uh, reviews or anything. So I promised her to give her good words and I want to do that because there was some kind of miscommunication or I don't know why I, she hasn't received any of my mails or messages through Etsy or whatever. But she's making it up for me and I promised also <laughs> that I'm, I'm going to put in a new order for a new piece of fabric which I found on Etsy which is so nice. So I... I'm going to, I can't remember, it's something like Dove Stitch Shop. I will link her down below and all good um, words for her. A great customer server service once I got a hold of her. So yeah, go check her um, page out because she has some really nice hand dyed fabric and if you live in the in the states where she is you know where she lives you will get your fabric right away in, with good prices as well anyway i want to show you the fabric i got for my miss christmas eve oh look at this oh it's so nice it's called ginger snap Yes, and if I remember, I will put a picture on Miss Christmas Eve here. And as you can see, she has a lot of reds and greens and stuff in her. So this fabric is gonna look beautiful. So, yes, and I have some more mir mirabilias coming my way. It's my own, it's my Christmas present to myself, yes. Uh, so that's that. Um, <laughs> what else? What else? What else? Yes. As you all know, I started the um, Heaven and Earth Designs Once Upon a Fairy Tale, the supersized max color. So I ordered a thread pack from a woman called Barb something, Barb Heaton. Uh, I got in contact with her on Facebook and she has a group called Thread Pack Geeks or something. I will also link that down below. Great price and especially for us who live in Europe. So we don't need that overseas shipping and customs and taxes and stuff. So she made a kit for me and yes, we had some trouble getting that out of the post office as well, but it worked out. So I'm so happy. And she has great customer service as well. I mean, she's like on messenger right away answering your questions. And yes, go check her out. Great prices. I mean, look at this kit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I sounded like a witch there. It's the wrong time of year. Look at this. This is for one heaven and earth design. It's, it's so much fabric. 
Uh, no, I mean threads. And you're thinking maybe, how could you start it last week if you got the kit today? Well, if you have watched that video, you know I have a black cone of 310, which I started the project with. So I could start, you know, as fast as I got the fabric and I will show you my progress now. <clears throat> and because I've been not busy, but I've been stuck on other cross stitch projects. So I haven't actually been stitching that much on it. So I'm kind of surprised myself because I wanted to stop everything once they released that pattern. But I couldn't stop myself. So, but it's so big and bulky. This is all I've done. It's just black. I'm extreme cross country stitching this thing. So I think it's like page one, two, there's maybe, could it be three, four pages of black here? But I notice uh, further along uh, the design, there is a lot more black coming. So I'm stitching six strands every now and then, you know, no panic. I don't, I just want to enjoy all the new, you know, all the new uh, exp explore, explored, whatever cross stitch designs. And again, look at that llama from Rachel Ray. I love it. I love, love, love it. Uh, what else? Mm -mm -mm. I haven't stitched anything else on my Harry Potter stitch along, but they said on, on the night to the 1st of January, they're releasing the first letter. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm, I'm so, oh it's going to be so fun. I've never done such a stitch along. So it, oh, I'm very thrilled. Yes, calm down, <laughs> calm down. I have another stitch along. It's pain-free stitch along. And I haven't done much. I wanted to do more and I will do, but I started with the frame. Look at that. I love that pattern. It's such easy um, stitching. And I love the fabric. It's like marble, right? It's gonna look so cool with that fantasy alphabetic design. 27 uh, parts. That's like every second week, a new part of the pattern will be released. How awesome is that? <laughs> yeah. What else? I know I'm hurrying this through because I don't want to, you know, interrupt myself when my husband gets here. Oh. And I was hoping to tell you that I have a finish, but I don't. I have like one color of pearls left to put into this thing. Look at this. Oh, my Mill Hill kit. Can you see the pearls? I have around all the way around. There are some in the teddy bear and some in the cat. And here at the toys and the boy or girl sleeping in the bed. So I'm going to put some pearls here and here. And then I'm done. And I'm going to try to frame it. So now when I've tried, you know, cross stitching with beading and I love it. It's so much fun. I know I'm just going to love my, my Mirabilia's. So that's what I've been working on. I've been really spending time on my Mill Hill kit because I wanted to finish that now at Christmas. But I have another, oh, I have another needle minder I got from Rachel Ray. Look at those cats. I'm like, when I get the message on Patreon, no, on Etsy, I'm like, order. <laughs> Fast fingers. Yes. I'm, I'm a bit hyper. I'm a bit hyper. So I've also stitched a little bit on my um, Ink Circles Sampler Squirrels of Sumatra. And this is how far I gotten on that. 
I mean, I love, I, it's the silk thread. It's so easy to stitch with. It's just glides through this 28 count hand dyed fabric. Very, very nice. And I like the pattern that it's like, it's, um, it's very symmetrical and it's uh, mirrored. So it's very nice, very nice. Yes. So that's that. I'm sorry, my nose is itching. I wanted to show you the, the squirrels, how it looks. Come here. So this is the pattern. It's very nice. Um, I actually won um, a small cross stitch pattern from uh, Mich Michelle Stitchy Bendy. I will link her channel below on her floss mask. So I was very surprised. Very nice. Uh, so it's a very small uh, cross stitch pattern. Uh, I think it was called the Salty House. And I'm thinking that I'm going to try to make a scissor fob out of it because I've been looking for those patterns. Uh, I don't want, I have some of the scissor fobs where, which is also handmade with some beads and pearls and stuff in it. Very nice work, but I think they get too heavy. So I wanted something else. Yeah. Um, I think that's all. Yeah. I have some more fabric, hand dyed fabric to come. I joined the fabric of the month club at Crafty Kitten. I have some Mirabilia coming. Yeah, I think that's it. But I will do some more um, stitch alongs. Um, so you can see more of my heaven and earth designs. And if you want to see something else. And oh my God, I took a look how many subscribers I've got. I don't know if it's because Rachel Ray has mentioned me a couple of times, but thank you, Rachel. And thank you and welcome every new subscribers. It's very much appreciated. Uh, I'm thinking of a small giveaway maybe from my cross stitch stash for like a new year's present or something we'll see i will figure something out uh, i think it's really cool that you guys want to subscribe uh, but if you have any questions or any else you want to share please leave a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe because then i will see you next time thank you for watching bye